Hi everyone, some of you might have seen an episode a few weeks ago where I tried to make resin flowers. Wow, that one's really white. That's pretty bad. Now as you just saw, they didn't quite turn out very good. I mean, some looked okay, but others just looked terrible. Now I was reading all the comments on that video and I got some really good suggestions. Now the first one, was that maybe my mold was too deep. Now this was the mold I was using, and as you can see, it is quite deep. So I went online and bought myself a new one. It's a big flower shape, and it's really thin. It's only about 10 millimeters. Now a couple of other comments that I noticed was that my white was too heavy, and that I shouldn't have injected it under the resin. I should have just put it on top. So today, we're gonna try this again with your help. Wow, this mold is huge, and it just fits in the shot. Does look pretty though. Now there's no need for me to mix any resin up for this one, because I have some leftovers from a previous project, so I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring this in. I think I'm going to need a little more. Another comment that I saw was that I need to wait until my resin's a bit thicker. So I'm just going to keep checking it with this toothpick until it's right. Okay, I think it's ready to drop the ink. Now I'm going to keep this one fairly simple. I've got magenta, turquoise and pink. I will add another colour, I got pool. Okay, it's now time for me to add the white. I have a feeling this is going to be the Petri effect, not the Bloom effect. Alright, I'm going to start dragging this in. Well, all we have to do now is wait, and after looking at this, I really don't think it's going to work. But you know what that means? It means I get to try it all over again. Well, that looks a little different. I think what I might do before demolding this is pull myself a black layer over the top here. That way it'll hopefully make these colors pop. Now because my mold is dead level, I'm just going to leave this to flow into all the open spaces and then we'll check on it tomorrow. So it's now the next day and it's time to take this out. Now I don't think this will be a complete failure, but I definitely don't think it's what I wanted. Now let's take a look. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Definitely not a bloom or a flower though, is it? But it's got some really nice colors. I really like this pastel look around the edges too. Now even though this does look pretty, it's not quite what I wanted, so I'm gonna try this one again. Now there is one thing I noticed in this clear layer, there's a few bubbles, and I think I might have something that'll help fix that. 
Now as most of you know, the easiest way to get bubbles out of your resin is to degas it. And normally I'd do that by using my vacuum chamber connected to my pump. Now I have been told that there's a cheaper and easier way of getting bubbles out, and it's inside this box. It's the resiners bubble removal machine. Now I'm sure most of you guys have already seen this in action, but what I'm more curious about is to see how well it stacks up against my expensive vacuum chamber. Well this looks pretty simple. Well after reading the instructions, it seems really easy to use. All I have to do is plug in my power supply, close this little bung here, and then turn it on. And then once I've done that, I can select my timer, whether I want 5 minutes or 9 minutes. And then once the timer's done, all I have to do is open this bung to release the vacuum. So I guess all that's left to do now is mix up some resin and test it against my vacuum chamber. Look at that, just five minutes of vac time. Nearly all those bubbles have disappeared. I'm really impressed. So I guess it's now time to test the vacuum chamber. Well that's how it looks after being in the vacuum chamber for 5 minutes, now let's compare the two together. Well as you just saw, they are very similar, in fact they're almost identical, but the only difference is, this machine is easier to use, it's quieter, and it's a quarter of the price. Now if you guys want to try one for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm now going to mix up some more resin, and when I'm done, I'll meet you next door. Now as well as degassing my resin, I'm also going to try a couple of other different things. The first thing is I'm going to swap out the piñata ink for a cheaper one. Now I'm hoping that this cheap one doesn't have as much alcohol in it. And instead of using white alcohol ink, I'll be using white titanium paste from Just Resin. Okay, let's try this again. Now I'm going to save this last bit to mix with the titanium white. I'm now going to add the ink and the first one is purple. Next up is pink. That one looks better than the purple. Now let's try some red. And now blue. Wow, 
that's a nice blue. I think I might do that on the outer edge. I think for right in the middle, I'm going to use this honeycomb. Damn it. What a bugger. Let's get some blue in there to stop it. Well, that's looking pretty good, but I'm just going to wait a little bit longer before dropping the white. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm going to go for it. Well, I don't know if I was meant to do that, but I saw those solid white lines and I just felt like I had to pull them in with the toothpick. And I guess we're not going to find out if it works until I pull black over the top and then pull it out tomorrow. Well, it's now time to pull this out. And I've got to admit, I really enjoy this part. It's almost like opening a present. You just never know what you're going to get. So I was having to think about this last night and if this one doesn't work, I think my white was too heavy and I need to thin it down. But let's take a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think I did it. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I think I did it. What do you guys think? Is that a pass or a fail? Well, guys, what do you think? Do you like them? I really like this one for the colours, and I like this one for the technique. If only I could blend them both together, I think I'd have the perfect pour. Now if you guys have any suggestions as to what inks might work, please let me know. Well that's it for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. Now don't forget, if you want to try the new resonance machine, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it, and if you use code BENSWORKS, you'll also get a discount. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.